Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Dom and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to discuss the battery life of my new watch, the Google Pixel Watch, which I've now been daily driving for around a month. Now, the main reason for me wanting to discuss the battery life of this watch is the fact that there seems to be a lot of discussion uh, about the battery life being poor and a lot of it is fed by people who haven't actually even had the chance to use the watch. So I decided that the best way of showing you how the battery performs is by taking you out on a day in my life with me. Now the day I've chosen is a day that I'm heading into the office for my 9 to 5 job uh, which I happen to have to use a train for. Uh, so without any further ado, let's go! Before leaving the house, I ensured that the watch is charged to 100% as I will be walking to the train station. I decided to start this morning with a walk to the train station to demonstrate the Fitbit feature and how it affects the battery life. Yeah, so one thing I will say is that <laughs> it's, I mean, it's chilly, you don't really tend to. Um, realize it when you're out and about until it's actually hits your face. When I arrived at the train station I went through the gates using Google Wallet on my phone and then I paid for a coffee using Google Wallet on the watch itself. I then went to the platform where I was treated with this absolutely stunning sunrise. I've got to admit, I completely forgot that I was running a Fitbit activity, so before getting on the train, I decided to end it. And yeah, so this is what my results look like. It takes about 25 minutes uh, to walk to the train station on a normal day, and those are my calories. And yeah, 98% of my battery's at, which I guess is pretty understandable considering the fact that it was using GPS. Whilst we enjoy the beautiful views of Gloucestershire, let's take a quick look at the app. So I'm now just syncing the app, uh, just simply pull the page down. And as you can see, the app tells me some useful details such as my steps, the floors I've climbed, the amount of miles I walked and my calories. From here, you can also access your steps as well as stress management, your activities and many more information which I find extremely useful. I decided to take the trial that the watch came with, which is a 6 month free trial of Fitbit Premium. After arriving at my destination station, the walk to the office was only a few minutes long and my watch was at 95%. Now, considering the fact that throughout the entire journey, I was using the watch to read notifications, uh, skip audio tracks uh, through Spotify, I was using it to read basic emails through Outlook, uh, as well as a handful of other tasks, I think that that's actually a really good result. Now, throughout the entire morning, I didn't really get a chance to record any footage. I mean, after all, it is my 9 to 5 job. I don't really want to be recording any footage there. But what I do want to show you is what the battery life is looking like after my morning finish and just before I decide to have my break. It's been quite a busy morning and I received loads of notifications on the watch and it's at 79% which I still think is pretty reasonable. For my break I decided to go for a walk around the local parks where I use the Fitbit walk activity again. I then headed over to my local supermarket to grab a bite to eat before heading back to the office. I spent the rest of my day working at my desk before heading back to the train station. Before heading back to the train station, let's take a quick peek at what the battery percentage is like. I mean, 57% is still relatively good in my opinion, considering how busy the day was. As the train was very busy and it was dark outside, I didn't get to record any footage of the way home. But once I got to the arrival station, I decided to do a never Fitbit walk activity to walk home. I didn't get home until around 7pm and by that time the battery percentage was at 51%. You guys, it is, well, 4 minutes past 12 the next day 
and the battery is at four percent and this thing is still going <laughs> yeah so i managed to get one and a half days worth of battery life out of this watch which i find absolutely astonishing i did not expect that after such a busy day i had the previous day now but the morning after i did the test with this watch I wasn't really doing much on that morning. I mean, for starters, I was working from home. I was working here at my desk. And yeah, I didn't go out much. I didn't do any GPS activity or any training activity for that matter. I just used it as a wristwatch and it was counting my steps during that time. And on top of that, it was also tracking my sleep. And to get up till 12 o'clock, or uh, four minutes past 12 to be exact, is absolutely surprising especially considering how busy my previous day was with all the gps activities i've done on it uh, but yeah that watch would probably still be going until 1 p.m at most i reckon um, with the battery being at four percent uh, but i decided to charge it anyway now if you're wondering whether this watch is suitable for you because of the battery life i think it is i mean i would say the battery life is very average for a smart watch i mean one and a half day is brilliant in my books i personally tend to charge it before going out anyway or I tend to charge it during the morning if it's under I don't know I would say 10 20 percent um if I don't go out but as a general everyday smartwatch it's perfectly it's perfectly capable and if that's what you are looking for then I think this watch is right for you but yeah that's absolutely it for me in this video if you like this video it will mean a lot to me if you hit the thumbs up and if you subscribe to my channel as it helps small channels like this get noticed by the algorithm. But anyway, till next time.